Hi and welcome back. Britain and Europe's freakish heat event that you've probably just witnessed yourself demolished all records. By scientific data just published, I will show you by how much this freakish event deviated from the norm. And I'll share with you a personal story and a demonstration from a senior officer in the British Army about how dangerous eggs are. The maximum temperature reached Tuesday in Coningsby, England, 130 miles north of London, was unlike anything the village had ever observed. It was an outlier in the truest sense, about nine degrees Fahrenheit above the previous highest temperature. That high temperature, 104 degrees, shattered the national temperature record for Britain by a lofty 2.9 degrees. Ordinarily, when temperature records are broken during heat waves, they do so in a few places and by fractional degrees. But on Tuesday, records in the United Kingdom toppled over a vast area and by enormous margins. The magnitude and extent of Tuesday's temperatures underscored the exceptional nature of this extreme event. As Coningsby set the national temperature record for England, and the United Kingdom all-time highs were also set in Scotland and Wales. Harward and Wales, 98.9 degrees. Flores Castle, Scotland, hit 95.2 degrees. England, Wales and Scotland also established their highest minimum nighttime temperatures ever recorded. At a London airport, the record-setting low was a tropical 78 degrees at night. The United Kingdom has maintained temperature records over a longer period than any other country in the world. Britain has plotted temperatures over England from 1772 till the present day. What happened on Tuesday? sticks out like a sore thumb. Just how out of whack were Britain's temperatures? Robert Rowe, a climate scientist from Berkeley, prepared this chart. What you are looking at is so unusual and so shocking, it almost doesn't make sense. The grey bar chart is the range of summer temperatures at London Heathrow. A leading statistician explained to me that no chart deviates by more than two standard deviations. An outlier is something at the beginning or end of the grey bar chart. But what we saw on July the 19th, 2022 can only be called an extreme deviation or a super deviation. Leading climate scientist Philippe Papin said he's having a hard time wrapping his head around the sheer number of UK locations shattering all-time country records. And the Met Office said here are the highest temperatures across the country today. At least 34 sites have exceeded the UK's previous national record of 38.7 Celsius. And the UK wasn't alone. Scores of all-time heat records were set in France and Germany. So what made it so hot? The heat originated from a sprawling zone of high pressure known as a heat dome. It spread historically high temperatures over the Iberian Peninsula before shifting into the UK, Germany and Denmark. Underneath a heat dome, air sinks, clearing out cloud cover while allowing the sun 
to beat down relentlessly. This unusual high-pressure zone ballooned far north into Europe due to a low-pressure system west of Portugal, whose circulation pumped in hot air from North Africa. This extreme event is known as a wave train. There are various wave trains, the most deadly being wave pattern number seven. And that's exactly what happened in Europe this week. This is the high altitude weather pattern from Tuesday. It's a classic example of a wave train number seven. But many people in the UK said, well, this has happened before. There was an extreme summer in 1976 and another one in the 1990s when the so-called Death Ray building melted a Mercedes in the city of London. But just saying what happened this week is a bit of a scorcher misses the point. Oh, you see, John, you're outside enjoying yeah. the sunshine. It's not too hot, it's, is it? No, it's it's absolutely lovely. It's, what, 20 degrees out here? It's perfect. But um, on a serious note, folks, um, by early next week, you can scrap 20 degrees. It could well be 40 degrees. I think there will be hundreds, if not thousands, of excess deaths early next week. John. The charts that I can see in front of me are frightening. So we all like nice weather, but this will not be nice weather. This will be potentially lethal weather for a couple of days. It'll be brief, but it'll be brutal. Oh, so, John, you know, but, we can... We, oh, oh, yeah. so, this is, so, John, I want us to be happy about the weather and every single... I don't know whether something's happened to meteorologists to make you all a little bit fatalistic and, and <laughs> harbingers of doom. Because all of the broadcasts, particularly on, on the BBC, every time I've turned on anyone's talking about the weather, they're saying that there's going to be tons of fatalities. But haven't we always had hot weather, John? I mean, wasn't the 76, the summer of 76, that was as hot as this, wasn't it? Uh, no. Uh, and, you know, we are seeing more and more records, more and more frequently and more and more severely. Uh, so, yeah, some people always hark back to the summer of 76, which was a freak event. 40 odd years ago, over 40 years ago. Uh, but heat waves are becoming more extreme. This is yet another one which is coming down the track towards us. What some people seem to have forgotten is that during the 1976 rather hot summer, the mortality rate increased by 20% per day during the hot spell. Now, especially us Brits, we all enjoy a bit of a hot day, but what we don't realise is it is potentially deadly to our body. Many years ago, I worked on a fascinating film with the British Army, explaining to new recruits how heat stroke would kill them. They brilliantly demonstrated this to new squaddies using an egg. Many internal organs in your and my human body are nice and moist at normal temperatures. But just watch this. When an egg, your liver or your brain passes a critical temperature, it fundamentally changes. Protein goes through an irreversible change locking together into a solid. And that's exactly what happens to the human body when its core temperature reaches past its protein change level. No amount of drinking a nice cup of tea, a cup of iced water, or even jumping in a cold bath will reverse a cooked egg. I'm sorry if that sounded a bit overdramatic, but it's not science fiction and it's not a conspiracy theory. Climate is changing and we really have to look after ourselves because it could affect us very badly. 
the truth is out there. 